Yes, I ranked every single Error Buster cookie in a tier list. After watching this video, you'll become so powerful that you can one-shot every single wave. Okay, that was a little dramatic. Sorry about that. Anyways, I have a better idea. Instead of cramming more than 70 cookies into one single tier list, I think it'd be better to split the tier list into categories based on the cookies classes. The first tier list will be for DPS cookies, the second one's for frontliners, the third one's for healers, and the fourth one's for supports that aren't healers. I also made sure these tier lists are as accurate as possible. I got dozens of people in my discord to help me improve them, so these tier lists are not based on just my opinion alone. In order to prove that these tier lists are good, at the end of the video, I'm gonna use them to determine which cookies I should use during an actual error buster run. Let's start with DPS cookies. These cookies will be based on how fast they can clear the waves. First off, we have golden cheese. Do I even need to explain? She's going into the best tier. Oh yeah, I kinda labeled my tier list like this. If you like seeing letters instead, well the top tier is S tier, the second one's A tier, the third one's B and C tier, the fourth one's D tier, and the final one's F tier. I don't really like using letters, so yeah. I'd say Captain Caviar is second place for the best DPS in this game mode. He gives a defensive debuff to the enemies and also does massive damage to bosses. He's going into the best tier. By the way, these cookies are ordered and ranked from left to right. For each individual row, the further you go to the left, the better the cookie is. Alright, this may come as a surprise to you, but a rare cookie is meta. Not only does Blackberry give your whole party a crit buff, she deals massive damage because rare cookies have been buffed in this game mode. Keep in mind that most rare cookies still suck. Next up we have Black Lemonade. She's quite essential for killing bosses quickly. Although she's not as good against waves of enemies, she will shave a lot of time off your boss fights. She belongs high up in the good tier. Next we have Claudic Cream. Since he's a super epic, he has a lot of high raw damage, and he's still able to deal decent damage to bosses, unlike Frostflop. He also gives himself some damage resist, which is pretty good. Black Pearl's a legendary, so she deals a lot of damage, but that's pretty much it. She belongs in the good tier. You probably didn't see this one coming, Lachi's actually really good. She's quite similar to Black Pearl, also her raw damage is really high. She belongs in the good tier, although Black Pearl's still stronger. Finally, at the bottom of good tier is Sherbert. Some people also think that he should belong in a tier lower, but I decided to keep him in good tier because he's quite reliable. The reason why Sherbert is so low is because his skill takes a long time to cast and he's quite sluggish. He's also really slow when it comes to killing off waves of enemies. Next we have Royal Margarine. He's alright, but not the greatest. At least he's better than all the other cookies in the viable tier. Mango's kinda like Latte, but at the same time his damage is a little mediocre. Although not the greatest, he's still viable. Next up we have Twizzly, and I sure do have a lot to say about her. Without any buff at all, she's hot garbage. However, there's this one buff right here that turns Twizzly into the Terminator. This buff makes her cooldown like 3 seconds long, it's just super OP. She also pairs really well with Black Lemonade. However, this is really rare, so she stays in the viable tier. Next up, we have Rai. Personally, I think she's garbage, but a lot of other people I've asked think she's viable, so that's why I'm gonna put her in the viable tier. Next, we have Cherry Blossom. Her skill's quite sluggish, although she does give a good attack buff to the team. Her and Poison Mushroom belong in the viable tier. I'd say that Poison Mushroom's quite underrated. Their raw damage is pretty high, although they're not very good at clearing waves fast. Fish Gato, another poison cookie, is really slow at killing bosses and waves of enemies, but at least he's still usable. He's going in the lowest spot in the viable tier. Anyways, there's these two tiers at the bottom, mid and garbage. You don't want to use any of the cookies in these two tiers. I'm not gonna waste your time, so I'm just gonna go over these two tiers really quickly. Yes, even though Frost Flop's a legendary, she still sucks. The rare soul stone represents all all the rare cookies that aren't in this tier list, and the common soul stone represents all the common cookies. That's all for the DPS tier list, now let's move on to the front. This tier list will also be based on which cookies will help you kill enemies the fastest. First up we have Holly Berry, and she obviously goes into the best tier. Psych, she's actually in the good tier. The Holly Berry meta is a lie. According to my discord server, she's massively overrated. Any tier list with Holly Berry and S tier is automatically wrong. Anyways, the actual best tank in this game mode is Queen of Man. She deals a lot of damage damage and synergizes really well with the error buster buffs. Next up we have Brute who arguably can be first place. His skill, normal attack, stuns, and the buffs he gives are all good. Another cookie that can arguably be first place is Space Donut. They amplify the damage enemies take and also have some invincibility frames while using their skill. All three of these cookies belong in the best tier. Next up we have Capri Sun. He deals massive damage because he's a super epic but his skill's a little slower than the other three cookies. He definitely still belongs in the best tier. Wild 
Berry is much better than Holly Berry. He stuns, gives good defensive buffs, and is really good against bosses. You could also argue that he belongs in the best tier. Pinecone is also a good damage dealer, but not as good as the other tanks. They're kind of like a ripoff version of Queen of Man. Next, we have Burnt Cheese. If you get him and Golden Cheese together, you're gonna have a good run. Yes, he's still better than Holly Berry. It is what it is. Next, we have Dark Cacao, and he's actually not that good. He deals a little bit of damage and kind of just sits there and does nothing. He's going into the viable tier because he can tank a lot of hits. You know who else can tank a lot of hits? Avocado and Knight. Since they're rare cookies, their stats are boosted, but they don't really do anything else besides that. They belong in the viable tier. Finally, we have Milk Cookie. Personally, I think he's garbage, but a few other people told me he's okay, and my best error buster run did have milk in it, so I guess he's alright. I'm pretty sure whenever he uses his skill, he gives himself damage to this. For the bottom two tiers, don't even bother using these cookies. I'm not gonna waste your time on them, so I'm gonna finish up the tier list just like that. The next tier list is gonna be healers, but it's gonna be a little different than the previous two. This ranking will be based on how much the cookie heals, and also how useful their buffs are. Starting with Pure Vanilla. Do I even need to explain? He's in the best tier. Here's another rare cookie that's 100% meta. Since Custer cookies are rare, his stats are boosted a lot, and he gives your team more healing than everybody except for Pure Vanilla. He's going into the good tier. On the flip side, Carol's more of an offensive healer. The crit buff she gives your party is really good. She's the best healer if you just want to speedrun error busters and ignore survivability. Pomegranate's also a really good offensive healer. Not because of her healing itself, but rather because of the attack buff she gives. If her and Golden Cheese are paired together, it's gonna pack a punch. Mint Choco and Sparkling aren't that good, but at least they offer some buffs to the team. They belong in the viable tier. Cream Unicorn's raw healing is not the best, but it's not the worst either. They also belong in the viable tier. All the other healers are utter garbage, so like usual, I'm just gonna skip over them. Also, the reason why Cream Puff is so bad is because you can't give her any crit toppings. These bottom tier cookies hardly do any healing at all. Anyways, the tier list is finished, and now it's time to move on to supports that don't heal. So, uh, here's the thing. There's actually no support that belongs in the best tier. However, Almond Cookie is a really good support. My Discord server had a lot of debate about this, but he ended up in good tier. He's really good for speed running waves of enemies. He's also useful up until the final boss. He's really good when paired with Golden Cheese, but unfortunately is quite rare. There was also a lot of debate on Pumpkin Pie's ranking. We ended up deciding that she can be in viable tier, mostly because she can save her team in case you get some really bad tanks. Keep in mind that she falls off really hard in the final waves of Error Busters. We also have Tiger Lily. She's basically the same as Pumpkin Pie, but worse. She's going into the viable tier. As usual, I'm just gonna breeze over these bad supports. By the way, Frill's the worst possible cookie you can get in Error Busters. She's utterly useless and Almond gets the job done better. She also steals your healer spot before you begin Error Busters, which is really bad. She's completely useless. Whoever told you she's good lied to you. Now it's time to use these tier lists in an actual Error Buster run. Here's how I turned this mediocre team without Golden Cheese into my third place run. I also did this all on a live stream in case you're wondering. So we're gonna hyper analyze my really good run to see what I did well. At the beginning, the only good cookies I had were Custard, Blackberry, and Wildberry. Then I had to make a decision on what buff I should choose. I didn't mention this yet, but someone in my Discord named Smoothie made an error buster buff tier list. Here's a tier list of all the common buffs, here's the tier list of the rare buffs, and here's a tier list of the yellow buffs. During the run, I didn't have enough time to look at the buff tier list because they're way too long, and also because you only get a few seconds to choose a buff. So I took a guess and chose a healing plus 10%. Looking back at the battle, it turns out I chose the best buff possible. After clearing wave 2, I was presented with a rare cookie buff. This was perfect because I have both Blackberry and Custard on my team. Immediately afterwards, I was able to replace an F tier cookie pastry with one of these three. According to my tier list, Avocado's the best option. Plus, I have the rare cookie buff, so she'll be extra tanky. It took quite a while to clear wave 3, mostly because I only have Wildberry and Blackberry as my main damage dealers. During the first boss, my team struggled quite a bit due to the stuns. However, Blackberry shredded through the boss's health. This is proof that Blackberry is one of the best DPS cookies. Next up, I was able to swap out Wildberry for Capri Sun. Wildberry is only in the good tier while Capri Sun's in the best tier. Then I proceeded to steamroll the next wave with Capri Sun and Blackberry. Now here's an interesting choice I made. Usually, I would've chose a buff on the left for extra attack speed. However, the buff in the middle seemed like a better choice for this scenario. My Licorice and Capri Sun would both benefit from the periodic damage. The next wave is quite unremarkable. I did clear it really fast though. Oh wait, forget about Licorice. I'm able to replace him with Poison Mushroom now. Poison Mushroom also deals periodic damage, so it all worked out. Oh geez, I cleared that wave really fast. Now it's time for the second boss. Typically, things get really difficult at this point of 
there's the run. Thankfully, I have five decent cookies, and Blackberry kind of just shredded the boss. At this point, I knew this was going to be a really good run. After the second boss, you're able to swap your cookie. However, you should never do this due to a glitch. If you swap a cookie at this moment, the glitch will cause your team to have increased cooldowns. I'm sure there's plenty of information about this glitch on the internet somewhere. The next wave of enemies didn't stand a chance. Ah, yes, look at that Capri Sun damage. Ah, yes. But then I had to make a really difficult decision. I had to choose between Blackberry and Pure Vanilla. If I chose Blackberry, I might not have enough healing to survive during the final boss. However, if I chose Pure Vanilla, I would only have Poison Mushroom and Capri Sun as DPS cookies. In the end, I decided to go with Blackberry. After clearing wave 11 really fast, it's now time for the final boss. After choosing one of the best buffs in the game, of course. Okay, that was actually way too fast. And that's how I got this score without golden cheese. Just one last thing to do and is to subscribe. Cause I'm poor. Alright, see ya.